Hey guys, this is Johnny from the HFC Hackerspace in Jinja, Uganda, and this little pile right here kind of represents uh, the theme of this week. This is uh, some of our power equipment. You can see here this is our uh, stabilizer, our regulator that provides power. We get input from the wall and then we run it through this uh, 3 kVA uh, stabilizer and regulator. Uh, we drop everything in here down to 110 volts. And this week we got about 450 volts from Umeme in parts of town and this little guy, or one just like it, took the damage for us. So we fried one of these and fortunately we didn't fry much else. Um, the, the regulator took the hit for us. So this is actually a replacement regulator. Our old one is getting repaired. Um, we're waiting for our solar equipment to come in, but in the meantime, I really wanted to get a handle on what was going on with our power. So we installed this little guy. We had this little guy installed, and this is a device uh, locally that's called Yaka. And basically, this is prepaid power. So what you do is you buy power credits, sort of like airtime, and you can see here we've got uh, something like almost 24 kilowatt hours, which isn't a whole lot. And we can basically load this thing with power. Now, the, the, a couple really good things about this. Uh, first of all, it's relatively high tech. I mean, we can go in here and we can kind of see like, okay, what's our average current, for example. So right now we're using 1.2 amps. We can look at our average voltage. You can see um, directly from the power company, we're getting uh, 234 volts. Or actually, this is what we're using inside the center total. So it's kind of cool that we can see all that, but we can, also, um, we can also take a look at how much we're burning. So you can see our average current is there. And I can go in here and I can look at how much time we have until we're out of credit. So basically, you can see here, with the, the center running the way it is right now, we have three days and nine hours worth of, worth of power. Now this is interesting because all this data is really helping us figure out um, our solar requirements very specifically when our solar gear gets here, what we'll be able to do. But something interesting that I found out was, again, if we look at our total power that we've got, it says we've got about three days and nine hours. Well, an interesting thing happens if I go over here and I turn off the lights and I do the same exact thing again. You can see we go up to six days, 21 hours. Um, again, if we look at our average current right now, oops, you can see that we're pulling 0.7 amps. So basically, we're using half the amount of power when we run the hacker space without these lights on. Now, apparently these lights are burning a ton of power. I didn't realize it, um, but these are 60 watts. Uh, each one of these things is 60 watts. So these things are creating a huge draw in the center and we're gonna have to look for replacements before our solar rig gets in here. So these are some of the things that we've been playing around with this week. Um, so. I'm really excited about what's going to happen once we get our solar in here and kind of see what happens. Um, but again, this is, uh, this is the hacker space. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given us and we're really excited. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again.